Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of Ark here on our cluster series, and today we're going to be heading over to Extinction. We're going to be bringing our Dodic and our RG, and we're just going to head over and try to collect up a little bit of element dust so we can actually get some of this stuff going. So I want an elevator in here, the triangle thing, I talked about this in the last episode. I want that, but uh, unfortunately, let me show you. So, recently, uh, S Plus got like the official stamp, essentially, it's called like the Homestead update, and unfortunately, <laughs> the update just completely broke S Plus. I can't snap anything to anything, so this is an issue right now, it's probably going to be fixed really soon, I know that the ARC devs were saying, they did like a live stream yesterday, they were saying how they're working on trying to get it fixed like as soon as possible, because obviously this is a massive inconvenience for anybody who's been playing S+, because now you, you really, you can't build anything, like if I wanted to build a little like one by one hut, it would be impossible because nothing snapped. So that's amazing. I think maybe we should take this time and not try to make any taming pens or anything like that. Let's just head over to Extinction and uh, bring our little buddies here on a little uh, adventure. Let me actually grab some food because I just realized I'm completely out. Alrighty, so let's grab some cooked land because we have lots of it. Oh, I grabbed the berries. Oops, there we go, cool. Oh, also actually, crap, let me, let me grab my, where are they? these I need them let's chuck this into there sweet alrighty so uh, just in general I think you know what one more thing <laughs> let me actually just bring some stuff in case we want to do some taming over there uh, so we have a little bit of narcotic and we can make up arrows and stuff if we need it so I think we're all good to go possibly let's go ahead and grab these guys come on buddy so, we're gonna head over to the obelisk, and we're gonna travel to Extinction. We've shown this traveling thing off before, but uh, yeah, I'm just gonna travel over there, and then I'm gonna get my guys together, and then I'll bring you guys back once we're there, and uh, we'll start showing you the best way to get element dust on Extinction. So yeah, see you guys in a little bit, but make sure that you hit the like button if you find yourself enjoying this one. It does not look like I could even hold this dodic, because that's just not right. <laughs> look at that, it's like hardly, I'm like pierced into a shell. The Stodic should be bleeding to death right now. That is crazy. Anyway, I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so we can download our creatures here. Let's go ahead. Bam. There's our Dodic. And our RG. So there's a bunch of freaking defenders around here, like dying and killing things. It's crazy. This place is mental. Let's go ahead and pick you up. Yeah, the defenders are going to start attacking me. Yeah, they want me because I have uh, I have creatures that are not allowed in the city. So silly. All right. Um, okay. So best place is to start harvesting up some element dust. Uh, all the way over this way, I do believe. Is this the right direction? Uh, no. I think it's this way. It's between the two domes. So yeah, it should be over here. Okay. So yeah, over here, there's like this little coliseum place, and there's like these uh, tables that spawn there. And those things are fantastic for element dust. So yeah, let's uh, head on over there. It shouldn't be too long. There it is. It's right ahead of us. You can see it. Actually, I think that up here, there's a couple little gardens and stuff that have them too. Oh, and there's the explore notes in this map that give like quadruple XP. Ooh, that could be interesting. We could even level our character up to like the point where we can make a chemistry bench and then head home. Hmm, it seems kind of like, I don't know, like leveling this quick seems kind of cheaty, but at the same time, these explore notes are like an in-game mechanic, so I, I can't ignore them forever. <laughs> uh, I think it's up here. Yeah, this one up here. Mm, I don't think there's anything down there. Yeah, so up here there's a couple tables and some stuff that we can actually hit. There we go. Hello, hello. Yeah, no, there's benches. I don't think there's tables. There is an explore note, though. Okay, so I'm following everybody. So we could just like fly around with the dodic in our hands, but right here I'll just go ahead and manually swing at these things. Oh my god, look at that. That is fantastic. Alright, so the elevator pad things that I'm looking for, they cost uh, two element per. So that means I need 2,000 element per, and I'm gonna need 12 of them, so I'm gonna need, uh, oh my god, we're gonna need a lot of element. <laughs> 24,000 element, that is crazy. Well, element dust, not element itself. So, let me see. I don't, is that dust reduced at all with the stack mod? I'm not even sure. Ah, uh, yeah, actually, it only stacks up to 100, or 1,000 even, with, uh, with the normal, um, 
rates. So yeah, the stack mod is actually helping. I was just kind of confused whether or not it was updated for the, um, let me quickly just go over here. It was updated for the uh, new like extinction resources. Let's go ahead and gather a level here. Nice. I think these are Santiago's explore notes. They might be. I'm not sure. Alrighty. So, come here. Let's go ahead and swing at the rest of these. So much element dust. This is fantastic. Now, I do have increased rates, but you still get a lot. Like, I'm being serious. You get a huge amount by just swinging at all these, like, little structures. The lampposts are good, too, but they're really spread out, so... I'd recommend going to like little spots like this if you can and uh, harvest up like these benches and the bigger lampposts and the um, tables as well. So good. We've done this before, but I want to of course show some of this off here as well. Um, Alright, so we have enough for two pieces of element so far, which is pretty good considering we've only been doing this for like two minutes. So yeah, let's head on down here. Now we can leave that area and hopefully they're going to respawn soon enough. And I can hit that up again. Uh, I don't think there's any down there. But yeah, the Coliseum down here. Now this is a fantastic spot because there's tons of them down here. Tons of tables. I feel like the tables give the most element dust per. But I might be wrong on that one. Alrighty. And then obviously there's all the lampposts here too that we can hit up in between. Oh man. So much element dust. It's really good because like I can go ahead and just craft all these things over here and then bring them over. Because you can't bring element through the obelisk itself because it just uh, dissolves or whatever. Are you gonna swing at it yourself there, buddy? Okay, usually he would do it. I don't know why he's not. You know what, it's easier if I just drop him. But you can do that. I don't know why it wasn't manually swinging itself. Bam, look at that, 139. Yeah, you get like pretty much like 130 per table here. This is fantastic. All right. So many tables here too, this is really great. So we can harvest up these areas like a few times. And I can actually, you know what, since we're here, let's do this right now before I forget. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> let's just learn everything. Might as well. Can't craft this until we have a tech replicator, but at least I haven't learned. None of these engrams cost points at all. Like eight points for a saddle, that is unheard of on the other maps, that's crazy. I think they might have balanced it out so you can actually like craft this stuff or like learn this stuff without having to forget the stuff from the other maps. Now also uh, one thing I probably forgot to mention at some point is that I've heavily increased the uh, engrams that you get per level because I kind of feel like limiting, limiting survivors to like oh you can only have these things learned is kind of dumb so yeah, I've made it so eventually we'll sh we should be able to actually learn every single Engram without any uh, problems at all, which is fantastic. So actually, we can go ahead and craft up some element here. Unstable element, sweet. So we can just craft four of those. They take ages to craft, but we should be okay. And then it should spoil itself into element eventually. Uh, it might take a little bit longer on here because I have increased spoil rates and whatnot. Uh, another great way of actually gathering up the element dust would be killing enforcers, tech creatures, defenders, um, I don't think scouts give any though, so probably not them. Are you gonna swing yourself? Come on, there we go. Okay, he's swinging, but he's not hitting. Swing and miss, alright, perfect, that's great. Just keep swinging though, buddy. Maybe you might hit it? Okay, whatever. We're just gonna have to roll around with the dodic, so let's go find a good spot, maybe over here. There's a couple defenders as well. I mean, I could kill all of those guys. Oh, there's beaver dams here too. Oh, I'm gonna collect all of the the paste. That's gonna be amazing. I'm just gonna bring home so many resources here. It's gonna be great. So first of all, bam. Oh, I missed. <laughs> oh yeah, these ones here are kind of buggy. So for some reason, you can't hit them. I don't know why. You can sometimes hit them, but not all the time. Let's actually get over and try to harvest up that defender before he despawns. They actually give the uh, element, dust, electronics, scrap metal, all the stuff now, which is great. Because originally you weren't able to do that. I wonder, can I craft, or can I harvest with Dodic? Apparently I can't, but carnivores can rip apart metal. That doesn't make any sense at all. Alright. 
Let's go ahead and try to grab this one. Are you gonna allow me? No, why? <laughs> it's so stupid. Yeah, quick poop, that's okay. No, it's so stupid. <laughs> I'm not able to hit any of them. I mean, I could probably just do this, but I don't get as much. Yeah, there we go. Get a little bit. Not really worth hopping off my mount and risking a raptor attack. Considering I don't even have any beds placed in this map yet, that would be really, really annoying. Um, let's go back and gather up this uh, cementing paste, and there's some more over there in that beaver dam. We can easily fight off these beavers or just fly away. Let's just go ahead and do that. Ooh. And we'll pick up the beavers. Just fly here and just do this. Oh, my Dodic's helping. Oh my god, he does a lot of damage. Got one. Can I land? There we go. Come on, Dodic, get in there. Start swinging. There you go. Alright. Come on. The Dodic's gonna end up killing that thing. Sweet. All right, let me grab some paste from over here too. Any little bits of paste are very much appreciated. Thank you very much, beavers. I'm gonna drop that wood though, cause I don't really need that. Eh, come here, buddy. All right, come, let's go. So I don't know where any more of those little benches are. I mean, I think I have a couple ideas, but that might be kind of hard to find. Like, I know what the area looks like. It's just, yeah, finding that area is kind of difficult. So, let me see. Are you gonna swing at him? No, you're not gonna swing at this lamppost at all. I have to hop off and I missed. <laughs> Come on. Swing at the lamppost, buddy. Nope. It doesn't work for some reason sometimes. There we go, I got it there. You see, you get way more by using the Dodix, so it's worth it. Let's see, uh, I got some metal. I can probably throw some of this stuff. Wow, we've got a lot of crystals so far. Holy crap. Yeah, I forgot crystal's fantastic on this map. Like this map is really good to come to when you're like late game and you have like, you're like, oh, you know what? I might make some, might get some electronic. You know, you just come over here for a little bit you know, a couple hundred, that's a couple hundred, or not a couple hundred, that's a couple turrets so far, if I wanted to. It's just really good, just come in here and you grab all that amazing stuff. Uh, we could probably kill that enforcer. You know what, we could even actually craft our own enforcer here. That would be cool. He won't be amazing, like, we'll probably just craft like a level one, but we probably have enough stuff to actually do it now. So we could do that for sure. Let's see, what, uh, what are you? Level 24. Fight him! Kill! Oh, I forgot he can hurt the rider. We got him! Yeah. Give me that oil, buddy. There we go. Pick you up. Nice. Oh, we got a bunch of bugs around us. Yeah, the one thing you don't get from enforcers is the crystal. I don't believe you do anyway. I don't think that you do. I think you get oil instead. So yeah, let's chuck the, all this stuff onto here. Uh, we got four elements so far, which is great. And we have enough to make one more element. But I think I'll hold off on actually crafting the element until we have a lot of stuff to do it. By the way, I killed a sheep on the way back, uh, or on the way over to the obelisk. And holy crap! It was 174 and I got like, what is that, 830 mutton from it? Like, that is so messed up. I know that the amount of mutton that you get is based on the creature's health, but it's kind of crazy. I got so much. We gotta watch out for those scats. They, they might tag us and then the enforcers and defenders and everything will start attacking me. What's that over there? I don't even know. All right, bam. Love all of this freaking amazing resources. Let me just go ahead and do this. Let's actually grab all of that stuff and put it onto the RG because he's got really good weight. Uh, yeah, pretty much just everything onto him. Keep all this stuff safe. Even put the mutton on there. I mean, he can eat some if he wants to. Um, yeah, that's good. Actually, I gotta refill these canteens. Or I guess I haven't filled them, so just fill them in general. 
My first time using my brand new canteens. Amazing. Hopefully they don't get robbed by Pegos. All right. So I think I'm going to do a lot more uh, resource gathering here. I'll probably... Oh, you know what? There's some uh, gems over here. Green gems. Yeah, we, we can grab some of these. Let's go ahead and do that. So I think what I probably want to do is... Um, just like run around, gather up as much of this element dust as I can. Uh, can I do this? Apparently, I can't fight this. Oh, hey, Enforcer. Hello. No, you're a defender. Never mind. You want my RG, not me. <laughs> so, I want to just go around collecting up as much of this stuff as I can. Of course, you guys don't need to watch all of it. I mean, it's pretty much the exact same thing over and over again. So, I'll see you guys in a bit. And you're dead. And you're chopped up. Okay, so we're back, and in total we have 16 element. We could craft another one, but I'm gonna hold off for the moment. Now I've pretty much exhausted like all of the decent areas to actually gather up some dust here. Like there's a couple benches around in other places that I don't seem to be able to hit at all with the dodic, and I can't hit them with my pickaxe either, so that's kind of annoying. And then there's just all these lamps around here. I really don't feel like going around to those. So what I think I might do is I might wait for some of the really good spots to actually respawn. And then in the meantime, actually, you know what? I could have done it back here because there's a terminal back here. In the meantime, I think we're going to get ourselves an enforcer. Just to, you know, like a level one, we can craft him. Uh, I think it could be cool. I don't know if it's going to be the most useful tame at all, but we could just get one anyway. Just because we're here and we have all the stuff to get one. Let's go ahead and see how much do you cost and you know what we could also get a scout as well actually oh we could build a few scouts yeah we might actually do that that might be a good idea huh. oh I actually need ingots themselves and polymer okay I didn't realize I needed polymer for this as well uh, okay well I can kill some corrupted creatures to get some of what do you even call it I don't know what it's called but it's like the polymer on this map essentially the organic polymer um, so scrap metal doesn't work. I need actual ingots. Oh, I won't even. There we go. Yeah, I need actual ingots. So I gotta make myself a. F I gotta make myself a forge at some point. But I have lots of, of scrap metal there, so I can make like 350 ingots themselves. Uh, in terms of everything else, I started dropping crystal a little while ago. Like that's more than enough. I'm not gonna need any more than that for now. Like it's way too heavy. Um. So I'm not even going to bother collecting anymore. I think maybe, you know what, I probably could have got it up to like 5,000, but I just started dropping it all. So we also have like a ton of these gems. Um, and yeah, just more electronics than I'm ever going to need, really. Uh, that is a lot. It seriously is. You know what? Let us head out here and start killing some corrupted creatures then because... That's obviously going to be the best way to get that polymer that I'm going to need. So I think it was like 60 for the for the enforcer itself. And then I might want like two or three scouts just because I know that they're going to break eventually. So I can go ahead and do that. To be honest, it's probably not the best time to be heading out here considering. <laughs> oh man, this is crazy. Oh wait, no. Wait, that's shielded? Oh yeah, this is kind of still part of the city where that one hit. All right, well, we got to watch out for those, but uh, we can probably kill a couple corrupted creatures. Yeah, we got some trikes over here. Just go over and kill them really quick, and then hopefully try to get ourselves a little bit of, uh, what do you even call it? Corrupted nodes or something? I can't even remember what it's actually called. All right, we got to watch out for these meteors, though. Hello. Hey, guys. What's up? What are you guys fighting? Yeah. Okay, come on. Okay, I didn't want to actually... I didn't want to start collecting from him yet. I wanted to use my, uh... I think, I don't know what would be better, a pickaxe or a hatchet. To be honest, a club would probably be best, because that's the best way to harvest it off of a penguin, but... Let's see. Which one is better? Okay, well, we didn't get any just there, so... Okay, so hatchet. We're not getting very much, though. So... Oh! <laughs> that noise is so freaky. Alright, so we're getting a little bit per. It's gonna take a little while to actually gather up all the stuff that we're gonna need, though. So, in total, we've got, like, 23. And that's actually pretty good. If I get, like, a good creature to just run around here with, I might be able to gather up, like, just a ton of it. Because that's organic polymer, and I can bring that with me as well. 
Oh, that happened really close. I gotta watch out for this stuff. To be honest, I'm gonna get back into the city for the moment. But I think we actually have enough to be able to craft ourselves a scout here, so we can probably go ahead and do that. Um... What the hell's that bird noise? I always hear that when I'm on this map, but I've never seen anything produce that noise. That's so strange. There's a ton of lampposts down there, but I really don't like that area. It's very, very dangerous down there. There's a lot of bad things, like Sarcos, Capros, Megalosaurus. Just, just tons of bad things, basically. Let's go over here and, um... And maybe craft that up. Let's see, how much do I get off of actually just harvesting the Defender? defense unit, whatever the hell it's called. They need to make these things craftable. That's the next thing. We need to just push them so, until they do that for us. So that would be amazing. Yeah, I'm not fighting you guys. Goodbye. Oh, man. Alright. So, let's see. My Dodic's over here. Here's the terminal. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna still need the uh, the ingots themselves. So how much do you cost? Five electronic, 30 crystal, 20 dust, and then 20 ingots. And then you're the only one that actually requires polymer, and you only need uh, 30 per, so that's not too bad. And then some oil as well. So yeah, um, I think I'm gonna gather some stuff to be able to actually get all these. I wanna make myself a forge first though, of course, so gotta go ahead and collect for that. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Ooh, after a quick poop. There we go. Okay, so we should be able to craft this blueprint that we have. I don't know if you can in here. I'm gonna just hit it. I don't think that you can, can you? You can! Amazing! All right, so we're gonna be starting out with, instead of a level one, we're gonna have a level 24. That's cool. All right, sweet. I mean, it's not the best, but it's not the worst either. Let's go ahead and make a couple scouts then. Let's make three of those, I suppose. Um, and we're gonna have a lot of stuff left over here, and I'm actually gonna need more of this because inside of here, let's go to elevator. So I'm gonna need, what is it, 12 of these. So I'm gonna need just a crap ton of metal. We, we definitely have the crystal for it. Uh, the element, of course, we're still working on that. And then I'm gonna need a lot of polymer. So we could actually use this dude and try to get ourselves some polymer. So here we go. Bam. All right, so this is our enforcer. Let's see. Wow, you've actually got some pretty freaking decent weight. Seriously? That's actually really good. Let me see. He's only got one dash, though. Um, Enforcer's dash goes up with the amount of um, levels that they have. So I think once they get past, like, a certain level, they get another one of those dash things, which is this thing, you know, where you teleport. I'm not going to waste it yet. So how do I cancel that? Okay, I think that worked. <laughs> I press like, left click. That seemed to have worked. So we can actually harvest from these, but it doesn't, it's probably not the best. I don't seem to even be, what that, I wasn't even attacking you. Get off of me. Oh my God, this guy is taking so much damage. <gasps> what? This enforce is almost dead. You can't even take one hit, can you? Can I force feed? No, you're gonna have to heal naturally. Wow, okay. Dude, enforcers freaking suck. <laughs> they're cool they really are they're probably one of the coolest creatures but uh, <laughs> I fight one of them and I'm almost dead that is so crazy um, I know that we like we do four times damage to the corrupted creatures but I still feel like this thing's totally gonna die uh, let's try to get across there so I'm gonna bam it worked amazing all right, so we gotta wait for this to recharge. Um, wow. Okay. Yeah, kind of feel like we're uh, we're gonna lose this thing immediately. To be honest, it probably would be a better idea to wait for him to heal before we head out there. So I guess we'll be back in a minute, or however long this takes. And bam. All right. Let's see. Ah. Okay, we do like two hundred and three damage. How much damage do we take? Still a decent amount. And we can harvest the nodes from him, but it doesn't seem to be the most effective. I don't know, that's that's okay, but it's not great. What level was that? I wasn't even paying attention. Hmm. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention at all. Hello. Ja. 
Didn't get any notes from him. What is this over here? What are you? Tranodon. Hello. Oh, I forgot I can't use weapons on the back. I kind of feel like you should be able to. Maybe not when you're climbing to balance it, because that's probably the reason why they didn't allow that, but uh, I don't know. Would be kind of useful. Ugh. You fight him. Are you serious? Why are you on passive? I didn't. That was serious. Stop. I see my phone lighting up. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. Let's go ahead and start it off by doing that. Ah, we got him. Wow, we didn't really. Oh, okay, we're still harvesting. We got like six? That's pathetic. Alright. Yeah, we're getting a little bit, but it's not great. To be honest, it probably would be better to just use my RG. I don't know. I mean, like, we can kill them quicker. That's cool, but we're still... We're not that powerful, and I feel like it's gonna die. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Alright, let's see. Maybe more damage? I don't know. Seeing as we do, like, a, four times the damage to the uh, corrupted creatures, it might be better to just like completely level damage and just try to kill them quick. What is that over there? Trinodon fighting trikes? No thank you. Um, there's a couple drops around here. Like I'd love to do the the drops with an enforcer, but I feel like it just it's not going to be a good idea. Also, I could not do a yellow drop. I could probably do a blue drop with a better enforcer, or maybe just an army of them. I don't know. Could be a thing. Alright, let's see. Ja! Oh, dude. 62 damage whenever you hit me. That's crazy. Okay, we just gotta try and avoid hits. We're fast, but that's the good part. So we can outspeed most of these creatures, but... Man. More damage for sure. So we've got we've got 41 so far, and we're almost out of element dust here. So we gotta go back and get some more at some point because that is essentially their food, as you can see. Energy. Let's see. Bam. Run around his back. Oh, Achi. Okay. Got him. Let's see. That's another nine. All right, well, I mean, we're gathering a little bit per. It's not great, but it's not the worst either. We could probably go ahead and kill these Carnos. They're probably gonna give us a decent amount. I didn't even hit him. I was hoping that I would. Oh my God, they do so much damage to me. Ah, the drop activated. Crap. I don't want to be around for that drop. What are they doing? S stupid Carnos. Oh my god, they did so much damage to me. Oh, that's a Rex. That Rex is probably for that yellow drop. Okay. Oh, hello. They're all spawning for the yellow drop, so... I don't know if that Rex is for the yellow drop or not. I doubt he is. Um, more damage, I suppose. And more weight for me. Sweet! Alright. Well, you know what? I might head back in with this guy. He's... he's okay. <laughs> Enforcers are so cool, like, they just need to be a little bit better. <laughs> Especially at a low level, considering that, you know, it's going to take a lot to even craft a uh, high level. Can I climb? There we go. They're so cool, though. Honestly, we're probably one of, like, the best-looking creatures out of uh, recent arc history. Can I? Oh. Low on stam here. That's bad. Oh, I thought that was a rock from, like, a rock golem for a second. They do actually spawn this map, just not out in the wastelands. Hello. Mr. Rex. 
Let me go over here and get away from you all. Maybe I can fight that uh, Stego if it's still coming for me. Oh, hey, that's a Carno. Okay, never mind. All right, buddy. Let's just take you back in. It's probably the better option. Although, the Stego's dead now. I mean... Ah! Oh, God. That did so much damage. Jesus. All right, whatever. I don't care. We're leaving. <laughs> I don't feel safe out here. It's not safe for a little enforcer like me. Just trying to enforce the law, and then this happens. It's crazy. All right, let's get back inside the uh, city where it's safe. Can I harvest these? Hell yeah. All right. We're eating up all of that element dust. Whoop. Can I climb this? Sweet. There we go. Yeah, enforcers are just really awesome. I remember seeing these guys in the original trailer for Extinction. And I was just like, dude, that's awesome. That thing looks amazing. <laughs> I, I think everybody was thinking, oh, this could be the new Rock Drakes. But yeah, they're just not as good. I mean, like even a super high level, like we had one in the Extinction series and that thing wasn't even that good. So I don't know. They're probably good for certain things, but I don't know. I just never liked fighting the corrupted with them because they just they just lose so much health so quick. It's just not worth losing them because they're so expensive to make. See, I do have my charge, but I probably can't use it with this low health. Well, we got 54. It's almost enough for one of the elevators. Can we? Ah, we missed. No, climb. Luckily, they don't take any fall damage, but. I was hoping that we could actually hit that one there. <laughs> okay. Um, we are losing stand though, right? Yeah, we are. Hopefully we don't fall. I don't think we will. We got it. Hell yeah. Alright. There's another enforcer. Die, Dodo! Okay. Gotta wait for some more stam. <laughs> this is crazy. Alright, so... I could probably craft a couple of these once I go out with the RG. Um, and then obviously I'm going to need some more tables to be spawned and there's some right there. Sweet. Let's go ahead and hit these guys really quick. There's like five of them. Get as much of this dust as we can. At some point soon, I think, well not soon, I don't know because there's so many things to do. Uh, I think at some point. <laughs> We might go ahead and uh, tame up some gotchas and try to do some like gotcha breeding to get the element dust as an output for them, which is like probably the best one that you can get. You can get element dust and metal. Metal's great too, but element dust is like game changing because that makes like element really really cheap to actually get. All it costs is just a little bit of stone to feed to the gotchas. So super awesome stuff there. Um, yeah, we got a lot of crystal in here, too. I'm probably going to leave all that in there. But yeah, uh, we have a couple scouts as well. I'm not going to actually take them out. Actually, you know what? We can probably go ahead and do it. Here we go. Bam. Sweet. It's been a while since I've used a scout. I like these as well, but they're, again, I don't know. Just, they're okay. They're just not something I use often. They do like a little dash, right? How do you do that? Right click. Yeah, there we go. And then we can, we can just like leave him here, I guess. <laughs> Let's call him back. Which way is he gonna come from? There we go. Sweet. All right, so we've got a couple scouts. We've got an enforcer, and we have lots of stuff here. Let's go ahead and grab that. So how much do they cost again? Elevator. We could probably craft one. Metal, uh, the polymer, I just, oh, I have exactly 100, sweet. Uh, two element, and then more metal. So we have lots of metal cooking in here. And then we can chuck our element in there as well. So we have 16 so far. Awesome. Uh, there it is. So we just scroll down. It's going to be like one of the only things we can craft. There we go. Triangle. We can craft one. <laughs> Oh man, a little bit of a grind over here, but that's okay. 
So guys, I think that's probably gonna be it for today. Um, this is just a little adventure over here. I think I might head back after I get all these crafted, but as you can see, I have a little bit more work to do here. Probably need to actually get some more metal. Can I even afford all these? Mm, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> and of course, I need the polymer as well. Um, but yeah, I think that's that's going to be relatively straightforward. So I'll see you guys back over in Ragnarok in the next episode. And if you have enjoyed this one, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to see more like this, you can, of course, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.